What's cooking? This is news on the go. I'm Amta Bala Chandra. I'm going to begin with news that's just coming and this is such great news. The government has now said that they will have zero tolerance against people who attack healthcare workers. Let me give you a bit of a background. While there have been many incidents of violence against doctors, one incident in Chennai a couple of days ago stood out. An orthopedic surgeon had to bury his associate Dr. Simon Hercules with his own two bare hands after the locals in the area refused a proper burial. Now this shameful incident then led the Indian Medical Association call for a nationwide protest. Now that protest has been called off after the government has now said that the attacks on the healthcare workers will carry stringent punishment including jail term of up to 7 years. They can also be fined anywhere between 1 and 5 lakh rupees. The Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javdekar has now said that this will protect doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, attendants and also ASHA workers. The other big news that came in today is this. US social media giant Facebook has announced that they will invest and wait for it 43,574 crore rupees into Jio platforms owned by billionaire Mukesh Ambani for a 9.9% stake. Now let me tell you why this is important. This is the single largest tech foreign direct investment in India so far. Facebook in the meantime has said their goal is to enable new opportunities for businesses of all sizes but especially for 60 million small businesses across India. Now Jio Platforms is a wholly owned subsidiary of Reliance Industries Limited housing digital services of the group. Also do remember that India is one of the biggest markets for WhatsApp and according to reports there were 400 million users in India as of last year. Both companies today have made it amply clear that the focus will be on Reliance's e-commerce service Geomart and that they will be rolling out e-commerce services targeting small businesses. After lockdown 2.0 some additional things have been exempted by the Home Ministry. Now bookshops selling textbooks and electric fan shops can now remain open in lockdown 2.0. A fresh order has been issued by the Home Ministry that says interstate movement of planting materials and honeybee colonies is also now allowed. A standard operating procedure for sign on and sign off of Indian seafarers for Indian ports and their movement have also been announced. And in a first a confirmed case of an infected COVID-19 individual in the Central Ministry has now come to light. An employee at the Civil Aviation Ministry has now been tested positive for COVID-19. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has now said that all necessary protocols are being taken care of and people who came in contact with that particular person have now been asked to go on a self-isolation as a precaution. Aviation Minister Hardeep Puri also went on to say that they stand by their colleague and will offer all possible medical support. And Delhi has now begun mass testing for journalists. Now we told you yesterday that 53 journalists were tested positive for COVID-19 in Mumbai. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal today has said mass testing for journalists have also begun in Delhi from today. In a tweet Kejriwal also wished good health to all journalists. In the meantime, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has released a set of guidelines for media professionals to take care while on field. With that, this is Amita Balachandra signing off. Stay home, stay safe.